Hey guys, the Rage here. So I wanted to make a quick video, uh, just showing you how to customize the touch bar over here. Uh, you know, I didn't see anywhere yet, so I had to kind of figure out. There's a couple ways to do it. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the couple ways. So the first way to do it is to go into your uh, menu bar over here on top, um, and you click View, and then there is a setting for customize touch bar. And it's right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And it brings up this screen where you can drag. And this customizes for Safari uh, because I was on Safari. You can also delete things that you don't want from the touch bar. Uh, very simply by dragging it. You know, you click and drag it into the trash bin. There's a trash bin right there. Uh, I'm not going to do that now because I, I use it. Uh, so if I go into Finder and um, you see over here they'll have uh so if i go customize touch oh not toolbar sorry about that it's basically the same place as toolbar so if we go into view oh this is not finder so you go into view finder and then customize touch bar and now we get presented with different options that apply to um you know finder and you know, and we can drag this into uh, wherever we want, uh, different positions. Uh, you can also, you also have a, a quick default set, uh, you know, that you can just use it in case you mess it up and you just want to go back to the default. It's nice and it's there. Um, you have the option to show typing suggestions. And there is yet another way to do it as well. And that involves going into our settings. Uh, let me just get rid of this windows because there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, but anyways, so if we go into our settings, uh, keyboard, and there's a couple options over here. So touch bar shows app controls with control strip. You can change that to expanded control strip or just app controls. So, you know, that's a couple options that you have over there. Uh, if you just want the expanded control strip, you can see over here, I changed that. Uh, you might be able to see it. Um, and it's basically your, you know, your uh, playback, your volume controllers are here. Um, you know, your normal function type keys that you have in the Mac. It's the expanded control strip. I don't know if it, it probably switches if we go into different application. Uh, no, it didn't actually. So it stayed over there. Uh, so that's setting is just to show the uh, if you don't want any app controls, or you can just choose to have app controls, so that, that way you don't have Siri, the volume, all that stuff. I actually like them both. Uh, so, and then uh, press function key, you can choose uh, expand control strip, or you can have the, you know, your old function key. I actually like the uh, expand control strip, so that way you don't have to expand it manually over here and then close it. Uh, one touch, you can ac get access to volume, you know, pretty much everything you need. Uh, but that's it. And then there's also the button down here, it says customize. And it just brings up the customization. There's a screenshot button, you know, and there, there are several things in here that we can, uh, you know, we can drag. Uh, and that's for the uh, control strip. So you can customize that to your liking. Um, it's I guess this area over here is reserved for the control strip uh, unless you do the expanded and then you, you have more more spaces uh, it's not totally flexible but it's pretty flexible uh, but that's it I just wasn't sure um, you know I had a hard time finding it first I didn't know where to look but uh, I noticed that every program at least every new program especially like the Apple ones uh, we'll have the, uh, the setting under uh, view and then, uh, you know, customized touch bar. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and can use this information. Take care.